Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck Doctoring. The layout has changed. I'm in the process of trying to find a better way to get that information on the screen and not just have it look like a mess. So instead we're just doing it on ArkhamDB. Nice and simple. Today we actually have a, a trio of decks provided by Anna Physic. Uh, apologies if I said your username incorrectly. Um, but uh, they brought us three decks that are meant to play together uh, and we have Kelvin, which you can see here. We have uh, Ursula Downs and a uh, Winifred Habamuck deck. Uh, the theory for this is that um, Ursula is going to be getting clues, uh, Winifred is going to be fighting enemies, and Kelvin Wright is going to kind of be like a support uh, flex character depending on how Kelvin takes trauma throughout this because it might change what their better stats are and all that. Uh, as always, I want to just say thank you so much for providing decks for us to look at with this deck doctoring series. We do enjoy doing it and uh, trying to help shape decks to be the best version that they can be. Um, you see how this guy, he wrote down his card pool and also what he wants the, the character to do? That's really good. You guys should do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they have like over here like yeah, considering cards like Jessica Hyde. Like, these are all things that we think are very accurate. So, for this one, um, uh, we're going to do a brief little bit on Kelvin. Ursula is pretty pretty yeah, good to go. That looks fine. Yeah. And uh, Winifred is actually going to be kind of our focus strip her down. for this one. That's going to be, like, the main thing we're going to be deck doctoring. If you can yeah. dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah. Um, so, with Kelvin... Let's just kind of start um, there. Like, let's just, like, so... Like, the issue with this Calvin deck is it just kind of, like, doesn't do anything. Um, good, at least. <laughs> like, upgrading the war protections is great for the support. Yes. Uh, the stand together is just nice for the support, even though, like, Ursula could use a little bit of economy, but, like, she doesn't need that much, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Winifred's a green character, though. Yeah. Need lots of scrolls. Not with this list, but um, and like your skills, like self sacrifice, you see that, and you're like, yeah, that's support, but it's like bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like it's one of those things too. Like I understand like the self sacrifice, the idea of just starting out with Kelvin, right? Like it's a good thing to start. Maybe yeah, hey, like I like having bad things happen to me. Yeah. I, I must just have and all then, the like, bad things. And then like upgrading happen. out of it when you go, but yeah. then it could be like. Like, for example, um, this could also end up being, like, a resourceful, right? Mm -hmm. Which you can then use to recur your lucky, which helps you pass more tests, too, right? Yeah. Like, look at the good things this deck has. You know, lucky, perseverance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, war protection. War protection, okay. stand together, rise to the occasion, take heart, all good. Cards, P.O. Sylvester, like, is almost mandatory. I also do like the Raven here. Yeah, um, it's kind of nice. Yeah, because uh, especially when you're just starting out, this is, like, I imagine that, as you said in your notes over here, like, you're thinking Jessica Hyde. Uh, like, the Raven can easily come out for that and become Jessica as we go, like, if we're going to be going that way. Yeah, it's probably the leather coat that's going to come out for that, mm -hmm. to be honest, though. It's like it's a fine level zero replacement, but uh, your, your priority upgrades, like, really need to be Jessica Hyde and Charisma. I think even, like... Um, if, if you get them both, like, uh, Jessica and Peter, like, so the Solemn Vows become much, much better. Yes, yeah, definitely. Because right much, now they're kind of in better. a spot where they're just a little bit awkward. It's, it, I mean, it's fine. It's fine for the first couple of scenarios because you have no trauma on you, so you don't get to start with any numbers. Yeah. So you kind of just want to take damage for whatever you can. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one thing that I would change is I would change some of the item suite to have uh, have a weapon of some description. Yes, that's yeah, I think kinda that's important. Well, we were, yeah. Travis and I were also saying in this the before recording, because like the goal is to be the support, but a support is kind of still a flex. You're still going yeah. to need to fight. You still need to do something. Yeah. yeah. Um, so like, I think that the flashlight and the key are actually like, fairly interchangeable mm -hmm. here, in my opinion, and we could cut like either of them one for the Derringer. Yeah. Uh, what is the, um, as well, one second. 
what's the frickin'... This one's pretty cheap that it also, like, especially later on, it could be a fire axe, right? Especially when you yeah. get later in. I don't think you want to play the fire axe on Calvin, though, because, yeah. firstly, you probably don't actually need to juice your stat mm -hmm. that much bigger. It'll probably already be kind of big. Like five or six. But also, secondly, you want money to be able to play, like, your you know, your water protection and your perseverance yes. and such like. Um, some other cards, I would actually, so I really don't like the look of that fountain winging it here, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. They're like, the wing in especially I think is really bad because you don't have a way to get into your discard to abuse it. Yeah, I think that's that's yeah, that's very good for winging it. You want to be able to not spend an action to get a better action out of it. Yeah. Because then you essentially just... And look what I found is like fine, but I think as we're adding more assets and stuff without the economy, it's just like not a great card for Calvin. It's a fine card. But I think the deck would be a lot better off playing um, Scrounge for Supplies and, like, a Test of Will level 0. Test of Will also contributes to the um, level 0. To, like, the, the support archetype you got going on. Yep. And it feels really good. Like, it's not that hard to pass a Brain 3 test, especially going into to the late game as Calvin. Like, you get that brain damage pretty reasonably fast. And you do have Pierre Sylvester there to protect it, so you don't have to worry too much mm -hmm. about uh, just dying. Um, and yeah, both that and War Protection, you can get back with Scrounge for supplies. Yes. Uh, we also have this one. We could take that out. And I'd like to see something other than self-sacrifice. I really, I, really I, would. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in also... <laughs> Another I could thing. see, like, Kindness Grounds for Supplies for, like, a single backpack or something like that that we look at upgrading later. Yeah, because I can grab uh, your stuff and then... I think the self-sacrifice is too. fine. Uh, yeah. Like, looking at how cheap the deck is, like, you get to draw two cards. And you get to take damage for the privilege. I guess. Uh, so, like, I don't, I don't think it's a bad card. Particularly not in the, uh, like, in the, the level zero draft. Mm -hmm. Um... I do have an intense hatred for Rise to the Occasion. <laughs> uh, admittedly, in Calvin, you do just get to throw it at whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Because if you are under attempting to undertake a test that is not too higher than your base difficulty, it's a it's a one difficulty test. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> that'll be pretty like, easy. Come to on, solve, you'll, yeah. you'll get it. You can you'll figure get that out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like this card is just better on expected courage yeah. for Calvin. Well, yeah. you can't throw it at anyone else's test. And whatever. But. Uh, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just personally don't like that card. Mm -hmm. Though fair. I will acknowledge that Calvin Wright is like the deck that would want to play it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think this looks pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, um, if you have access to it, you could play the Meat Cleaver instead of the Derringer. It is an option. Uh, give him the old Pete Cleaver, as it were. Yeah. That's actually... Uh, which is pretty solid. It's just, I think those are like fairly interchangeable. Yeah, like the meat cleaver does also yeah. help you get to your high brain and book numbers. Yeah, let's put. Le I think we should. I don't do, right? think that's a real issue in this deck with mysterious raven and the warrior protection, though. No, that is true. And the but, solid but the thing is, just more of more yeah. can, that can get you there can be good. Yeah, it does also play the other side of the game too, where when you're fighting lower, lower health enemies, you can just heal yourself for one. Yeah. Uh, Which is good because you do have to you do have to be concerned about dying. It's mm -hmm. no, you don't. Um, <laughs> I like you don't want to do it. I like the meat cleaver because for me, my philosophy whenever I build a flex is to I'd rather have a weapon that's like always there as opposed yeah. to something that can run out of bullets. So I don't think the derringer is a bad choice. I think the nope. gun is really good, especially in Kelvin because you could fail and get the ammo. Does he own the pack that has all these cards in it? <laughs> oh, I know he he's got investigator deck. Secret, Secret name. name. He has known that. Dream Eater's full. Dream Eater, that's circle and done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tragedy. Uh, obviously, if you don't have it, don't don't play it. Yep. Yeah. You definitely have just uh, the high. You definitely have test of will. Scratch for supplies is Dream Eaters. I'm pretty sure. It is. Yep. yep. Yeah. So everything else should be good here. Yeah. We didn't add anything else that we don't have. Yeah. yeah but you're like you you really do want to get like Pierce Sylvester upgraded. You want your charisma. You want Jessica. your Jessica hides. Yeah. Those are all very important. Also, upgrading your war protections would not be a miss. I think if you want to be the support, it would be. Yeah, it'd be a nice yeah. choice. But even even if you don't, like, water protection is always fine. Mm -hmm. 
It's always good. Nothing wrong with that. Sweet. Cool. Easy. Like, yeah, I think this deck was pretty close to what it was. Yeah. The small. A few changes, just like some cards that are a little bit subpar. Another thing that, like, I would even um, consider doing is, like, some things, too, is only running two Solemn Vows. You don't need to run all three. You could go down to two. The Guts, guts, is, guts. is, yeah. They are Guts, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you're playing them in the place of Guts, <laughs> right on, then they're fine. Yeah. One other note on why you don't need to play the Look What I Found and the Wing It is because, like, you're not the main clue. You don't have to pick up clues from multiple people. And Calvin, like, usually, like, four or five book with the odd boost is, like, pretty good... <laughs> Yeah, and then like with your mysterious ravens, that will like you you really. It's not only... like it's not like fighting where you need to be doing two damage. Yeah, because like what's the thing too? Like we said, where like with each act, you want to get as the support, you want to get the player clues. So you're looking to get three clues, and then your clue getter is going to get like multiple player multiple clues. player clues, right? Yeah. So you just need to focus on getting three clues more often than not. Sometimes six, but there's more time for that, uh, which is very yeah. doable. With, uh, with what you have here. Yeah. All right, Winifred. So. So, so. you're going to fight enemies, but you only have two weapons. It's curious. Mm -hmm. It's curious. You also have two copies of Backstab, which uh, Winnie's foot is higher than Fist, but also you can only use them once. Yeah. So I think what this guy just needs is a bit more, more stuff. stuff to attack <laughs> with. Yeah. Uh, I think that... Gregory Gry is the worst ally you could be playing <laughs> for this, I think. Uh, uh, I don't think it's the worst, well, but like... Yeah, no, you're bad. right. Henry Wong exists. <laughs> yeah. Henry Wong exists. Uh, I think if you want to be the fire, you want to be on Lonnie. You definitely want to be on Lonnie. So uh, get that out, get the fine clothes out. Lonnie also has some solid synergy between... between her, like, you get to play her and Calvin's got leather coats. Mm -hmm. Um... I think you're even fine just playing Lonnie for the punch boost because the difference between three and four is pretty huge. So yeah. I go into the uh. Interesting. Okay. So um, I think as well too is I'm just trying to like when I was when you guys were talking and all the things you said were really sick. I was just trying to think of like ultimately what is Greg or like what is the money for in this deck? Nothing. Right. So like that's like what. I mean, like it, it would be if you're upgrading backstab. Yeah. Would be what it's for. Yeah. I was seeing if that was in the notes. Okay, so if you want to upgrade backstab, that's pretty good. But I also like agree with the the guys. If you want to be a fighter, Lonnie Ritter's really like good you for need that. the plus punch. You can't yeah. be rolling around with three punch. No. Um, you yeah. don't have to play the jacket yeah. again. Like if you really want to upgrade into Delilah, you could just like make that priority upgrade and dump Lonnie for it. And also like with um, this as well too, right? Like what are you doing with fine clothes? I think if you want to play the one of fine clothes. You're probably better served by playing that in the Calvin deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In place of maybe the third, uh, the third solemn vow or the self sacrifice, possibly. That's pretty fair. Yeah, because um, the parlay tests. I don't some know what. Of, some of them are brain. Yeah. Uh, some are book. So why don't we, we just never none of them doing a brain parlay? You're never parlaying with foot. You're stealing things from people with foot. Yeah. You're not trying to make them like you with foot. Yeah. I mean, like, unless they were also looking at this as being, like, soak, right? But then, because yeah, I think they're playing... Lonnie just does that better. Yeah, I think yeah. they're playing um, Forgotten Age because they keep this talking about trauma. Yeah. And, like, that is very... That's, no, that's fair. That's what it says, uh, what it said in the description, the, like, the first, uh, the first one. Uh, not uh, not one of these, but it, like in the... Oh, in the, the Discord? Yeah, yeah. By the way, if you want to join our Discord down below where you can post deck ideas and also just talk to us about Arkham Horror, it's a good time. Uh, Lonnie and the Leather Jacket kind of just do that as yeah, well. Level, uh, level zero Daredevil is real dangerous. Yes. Because you can just end up discarding almost your entire deck and shuffling your weaknesses back into the deck. Mm -hmm. And yes. then you're left with kind of nothing to play the game. I would, I would kind of dump that. I, uh, think. I think it really depends how many wild symbol contributing green skills you are playing. Mm -hmm. Or punching. Uh, you guys not as which in this one, like we've got, uh, we do, we do have, uh, we do have quick thinking. We've got opportunist, and we also have anything you can do. 
Uh, however, we don't really want to be committing anything you can do, just like kind of at random. <laughs> just randomly, yeah. Yeah, we, uh -oh. we would very much like to use that for the important tests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I'm not a fan of level zero Daredevil. That's pretty fair. We can, uh, we can get that either. I, I think we could get rid of it. I mean, like, the elusive is okay. It depends if you're playing tabooed or not a little bit. I don't think you're playing tabooed. They're, yeah, they can't be playing it non tabooed in a level zero deck. Oh, okay, they should be playing two copies yeah. of elusive. Uh, I don't think you need to be playing two of it if you're uh, looking no. to kill monsters. But it's so good. It is good, but I think if you're looking to kill monsters, you're. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm out of here. Oh, that card is so good. In, I, the, first, I, in the first. Oh, yeah, half, this is. This is I mean, sorry, no, I yeah, thought well, this was the. Uh, I thought this is like if an enemy spawns your yeah. location. Oh, yeah, 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 no. yeah. That's think on your feet. Yeah. No, I'm out of here. Do you need that at elusive, though? I, th I mean, like, one of, one of each is not unfair. If you're fighting the monsters, though, like, do they not serve some very similar functions as the Forgotten Age? Great question. Um, you can just ping elusive in the middle of a campaign. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, th I think they're both good because, like, the yeah. I'm out of here is for... Um, the fact that it commits for double foot is also, like, pretty relevant with what we've got going on here. And, like, I, I don't know, I'm not going to say any spoilers because obviously I don't know if you've played the Forgotten Age. It sounds... uh, yeah, no, they said it was a blind run. Okay, um, but, like, this one has a good home in that one for the first little bit and it's easy to take out later. Yeah, I mean, if, even if it just sits here and uh, gets to play as though it were. Mm -hmm. Manual decks. It is also a spirit, manual so you could put on your bad. Calvin deck as well in case he needed to get out before that's, he took a bunch of drama. That's not actually that's a that's a pretty sick idea yeah. too. Yeah. Um, um, so, we're, we're, if we want to do the fighting, we need monster, we need guns. yeah we need another weapon. So they don't have um, Innsmouth, which sucks. Which is a shame. Because yeah. if you could run the twenty five, yeah. oh my god! This especially the upgraded really one with uh, Hatchet Man, which is like. I think, you know, like with Hatchet Man, that's so good. It's so. absurd, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess, uh, what, Switchblade level two? That's not level zero. Yeah, I know, but... But you can go into that? I'm just trying to think of what good green weapons are. There aren't really any. You're not wrong. Most of them, most of them come upgraded. Yeah. Uh, like, you... You could play the forty-five Thompson, but your deck is fairly expensive now, and you would have to add some economy to handle that. Yeah, that we just we just took. Yeah, so it doesn't have that cycle. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that's that's a uh, circle. Keep scrolling down, Justin. Uh, Colt vest pocket is not god awful. Um, yeah, that's fair. It's not good either because you can't play it before you want to use it. Yeah, you have to play it. Yeah, no, the I, upgrade, I, I The upgraded one is so much better. Uh, the good. Mauser is a very strong gun. Yeah, yeah that's what he's got. Out. It does uh, check out now why there was only a... Uh... Like, maybe we just play, like, sneak attacks to kind of bridge the gap between... For the first couple of scenarios, so you can, like, afford level 2 switchblade or something. Or the... It's not the bad. Beretta. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not good, though. Um, you're definitely <laughs> going to want more more skills that can be committed to an attack. Yeah, like overpower would be ideal. Yeah, overpower. Like overpower is real good. Yeah, bring up the skills, Justin. Uh, they don't have Carcosa? No Carcosa. We can put any Carcosa in this guy, right? No. Good. <laughs> so this is actually kind of just it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Alright, here's my advice to you. And don't tell anyone I told you this, okay? You should proxy the 25 out of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like I mean, the twenty-five automatic is pretty much the thing that makes Winifred good at level zero. Yeah, or like good at fighting at level zero anyway. Obviously, she can do all kinds of other things. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so yeah. let's talk about maybe like with the upgrade. I mean, like I think level zero this deck is fine for the first scenario, yeah. maybe too. Yeah. So that's why I think like going to talk about the upgrading could be where we yeah. go here. The only card I might cut, I might cut that lone wolf. Um, for just like a different economy card because quite often if you're like handling enemies you want to kind of hang out by other investigators, yeah, right? Yeah, this is true. Um, okay. It's like a fine option for that, but like even just an emergency cash or something. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean like the one, Lone Wolf is okay, it's just a lot more work than it's worth for most fighters, I think. Yeah. 
I mean, also, like, you, the other one you have is Ursula, which, yeah. like, she's going to be on her own a lot. It's true. But, like, Calvin is probably going to rely. Like, you guys are going to probably be, like, a team. Actually, Ursula being, having four foot means that, luckily, as Winifred, you're going to kind of have, like, um, someone who can deal with monsters that might show up. And they can just be like, I got this. Don't worry about yeah, it. This is kind of tough, though. Like, it's also your clue gear because then you're not really winning the game while you do that. It's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. But hopefully Calvin can't fill that in. Calvin will probably have, like, four foot more often than not, too. Yeah. So I think, like, it'll be one of those things where... Yeah, this deck's going to be, like, tough for the first couple of scenarios, but it'll get better if you guys get experience. And also, like, um, foot good, right? Yeah. Like, foot will be... Your foot will be good. <laughs> That's something we say very often here. Yeah, but if there's one campaign... Foot, bad, foot yeah, usually is bad, good. but... Yeah. But in, uh, in Forgotten Age, foot's pretty good. All right, so then if we're going to do this and we're going to just say you need more weapons but there are none, what what are any recommendations there's, for, like, upgrades? Not much. You, could, you could play, like, the Derringer. The, uh, the level zero Derringer isn't complete garbage. It's not amazing either, though, considering... Oh, no, they, they, don't have, they don't have Derringers. Yeah, they don't have Derringers. But, Brent, you're right. <laughs> is the level zero Derringer from Carcosa? Uh, the level... Oh, I was looking at the upgraded one. Let's look at this guy. He is from know, Corset. Corset. This guy's Corset. Yeah. I uh, guess. That's pretty tough like, to succeed it's, by two or more, though. Yeah. It's not amazing, considering like that you're a three-punch fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, with Lonnie, you're at four, and then it becomes yeah. six, which is like... But then you still have to succeed by, by two, two, so it's like you're four. But uh, if, if you're fighting at, yeah. like, there's some two attack guys, there are ones that, you know, are more, but... Yeah, like, this, this wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I mean, this is, like level two switchblade in a lot of ways it is yeah yeah it's level two switchblade but you can only use it three times it costs an action to play and it costs three instead of one yeah, yeah. like it is it's obviously not better but it's yeah. like like it, it'll it's fine it's better i would this is so much better than the level zero switchblade yes yes yeah. not a, like there is there's not even yeah, you you could play those over the sneak attacks i yeah. think too like yeah. let's pass, just uh, put them in and just like you can kind of like do yeah. see what I completely forgot the weapon exists. Yeah, to be combat. Uh, combat is a little rough in green when you don't get access to another color. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just kind of the way it is. Um, just be that way. It's been it's like it's been getting better over the last couple of packs, and uh, you know, like the twenty five automatic is yeah. real good. Yeah, but the card the color can't be good at everything. Like, come on, you're not yellow. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, true. yeah. Right. If we're looking <laughs> at upgrades. The first thing we want to do is we want to be buying a new weapon. We want yeah. something better than what we've got. Uh, the 25 automatic, you don't have, but man, is it good. Yeah, it really it's very is. There's good. There's no picture there, but like... Yeah, there's no picture of it, but like... That's because if they load it, they would shut down the website because they'd be like, this card is too good for Winifred. It's pretty strong. It's a bit of a stretch, I think. <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking with the guy who runs it. He's uh, one thing to note about Winifred in particular is, like, a lot of the times when you're playing a monster fighter, you need a way to dig up your weapons. But Winifred, especially with the Lucky Cigarette case, just has that inbuilt. You're going to be drawing so many cards that you yeah. really shouldn't have an issue finding them, even with only, like, four to six. No, yeah. This is true. And then um, also, like, you're also, if you draw an enemy and you don't have your gun yet, you have five foot, so you can, like, mm-hmm. spend some time. It's not like where you're, like, Leo Anderson, and you draw an enemy and you don't have a gun, and you're like, I am dead. This is it for me. Yeah, yeah so depending on how much XP you walk out of the first couple of scenarios with, you could choose, you could look at the at the Beretta. It, uh, like, the plus four means you are going to score damage every time you fire it, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And this is, a, this, is a, this is pretty good. Don't be mean uh, a neat way for deck, Brent. Uh, I kind of relate to this one. But, like, where you just play a whole a big pile of economy and item cards, and then, like, like just a big pile of weapons, and uh, you just you, you play your cards, and then you just use them for, like, other symbols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You the could, symbols uh, on them. If you find that you're struggling to hit enemies because you don't have... Uh, good punch. Yeah, you don't got good punch. <laughs> You could definitely play something like Hard Knocks, I suppose. It's not... It's far from ideal. Uh, and, like, you'll definitely have the access to the level zero one, Which is... Uh, it just costs two to play, and you can spend money to be better at yeah. yeah, Yeah. yeah. So you, you could, you could play this that. card in the deck right now. Yeah, like, it's not, it's not god-awful. <laughs> no, but it's not um, good either. <laughs> yeah, it is also not good either. Um, so Cakes is a dark horse deck. But. Getting to hit your... 
hit the things you shoot at is going to be so much better than not doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they want yeah. to be. They definitely want to look at Delilah because she yeah. gives them the yeah. punch Delilah and also foot really and good. also a money sink. <laughs> That's huge. She yeah, kind so of I think Delilah is so. going to be really nice once you can get her. Oh my yeah, man, you evade yeah, the enemy, you blast it with your twenty-five, and Delilah also blasts. Oh yeah. my god, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> well, like Del Delilah is a pretty solid option for this. Uh, she does get a little expensive, and you might want to be playing a little bit more economy than you currently are. Mm -hmm. If this is uh, this is what you want to upgrade into, you could also upgrade into something like the Lupara, which is I think from Dunwich. I'm not a hundred percent on that though. I thought the Lupar was Kirkosa. It might be Kirkosa. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it came okay. with well, the Slayer. You don't well, have that either. Uh, the Mauser C96 has a level 2 that you have to have because it's in the Winifred half. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. The, the level 2 Mauser is just... Can you imagine a way that it could be better? It probably is. Uh, the only thing that's not better about it is that you don't get more bullets. Yeah. You still just have the 5 ammo. Yeah. So then if we're uh, looking at um, economy... Right, like if you're going into Delilah, like mm -hmm. you could just have another emergency cache and like replace, like because like obviously like you, you there just was buy and smoke and have the gun and also Faustian bargain. Yeah, there was that stuff like with Gregory Gry was here, but obviously he'd be <laughs> yeah. gone by the time you get Delilah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the tough part about Gregory also is that you have to throw tests that don't matter in order to pass them. By yeah, that sometimes. Much. Uh, Watch this as a card. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. cool. You could just play, like, you could play more Lone Wolves and just, like, yeah. accept that that's how it's going to be. I do think, though, that uh, with what Travis said, I think Lone Wolf is going to be hard to, like... Mm -hmm. It's going to be a bit more of a... It's like a, a sub-game you don't want to play as much yeah. as you'll have to. Yeah, you do You do have the upside of both of your teammates will have reasonable foot scores, so you can just leave them alone for a little while. Yeah. Uh, a really easy, actually, upgrade you can make to... Man, this easy mark is so good in your friend. And you definitely have it because from Drunk Dreaming Years, it's so easy to yeah. just put yeah, that that's, together. Yeah, that's a great her. one. Yeah, 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 100%. And it's only one experience for all three copies. Like, yeah, and it gives no, you relevance. Oh my god. Um, it's a trick. It is a trick. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, that's a, yeah, for the economy, that solves your problem. Yeah. Uh, since you have the Forgotten Age, you could also look at possibly just buying into the, uh, the Ornate Bow. Yeah. Yep. And just use, using your good number to do everything. Yep. Uh, this is this is a fairly solid option for combat. If you do intend to upgrade into this, then there's a level zero card that I'm not sure if you have access to because I don't remember the release order of anything. But uh, it's in a, it's an event. Uh, what the fuck's it called? It's the one where like you dodge an attack of opportunity and then get plus two skill. Narrow escape. Narrow escape. Yeah. I also know what set that's from. Black yeah. Stars Rise doesn't have it, but that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this this one would be good. Uh, if you want to play there in April, you can also look at playing Haste. I believe that was yeah. from, uh, yeah, from Dream Eaters. That's mm -hmm. really good with the bow. It is really good with the bow. And Everything like other things too. With the bow is, uh, you can also play, you could play Swift Reload, but really don't. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Swift Reload's really good with the Mauser, but not really good with the bow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the bow can only <laughs> ever have one ammo on it. I mean, it's like... It does something with the bow, so that's yeah. kind of neat. No, the bow, the bow is a pretty solid way to fight in Winifred. You could also buy like a pile of guns and grab like that what? sharpshooter. Uh, sharpshooter is like a little bit unreliable. However, playing Winifred, you do have a built-in draw engine, mm -hmm. and you just kind of want to be mulliganing for this as like as often as you can. Uh, this does help mitigate the low fist. It does. Uh, yeah. It does help that. Uh, this card does a lot of cool things. Um, is it generally worth it? Probably not. It does uh, have some good tech against uh, certain things. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies that have like you know six or seven fight, but they're like real big and slow, so you can just shoot at their one instead. Yeah, shoot their ankles. Uh, yeah, and then you just get to use your five instead of your three. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're probably getting about like plus two and three quarters when you use that. It's pretty specific. It's a uh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to hear the math that led you to come up with the three quarters. Oh, there is none. Yeah, okay. uh, it's, just not, it's not worth an entire extra one on every enemy. Yeah, no. But it is worth an extra one or more on many enemies. Yeah, that's fair. So it's like two and change, right? I, I like... Yeah, there's uh, like lots of places you can go with this deck. It's going to be getting there. Yeah. That's a tough yeah. part. 
But, like, I do think, um, I think this will get through, um, it'll be, I mean, Forgotten Age is, yep. it's a tough campaign, uh, but I think this will, this will be able to get through the first one and then start getting some upgrades. Graded Backstab is also a house for dealing with enemies. Yep. And again, you Very have to have Very expensive, it. though. Yes. It is, yeah, it is a rather expensive way to go about it, but, uh, you know. Honestly, I, I like your Delilah plan. Because, you know, just uh, gives you two very relevant stats, and then she's just extra damage, and then, as I said, just, uh, you know, uh, make a proxy of uh, one of these guys and just start blasting us, Travis. Says. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it'd be so sick. Yep. Playing this card in my fin deck right now. Oh, know. yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's sick. Yeah. But no, I think um, I think all these decks were like, the, the ideas are really. They're all pretty solid. Yeah. And it's just uh, that's a little. Whoever built the Ursula one, like good job. I think I, I think they built all three. Okay. Yeah. Well then, good job. Yeah. Uh, like the the trouble with Winifred is pretty much that she's locked to green, and green doesn't get to be amazing at anything, mm -hmm. except for uh, foot. Yeah, like there's that. <laughs> <laughs> We're green. Um, we have feet. Yeah, but there are, there are like once you start getting some XP. You should be able to handle monsters, no problem. And up till then, maybe you're just running away from your problems. Give them the old Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Anaphysic, for the uh, decks, for the deck doctoring. Hope this uh, helped you out uh, or, you know, gave some insight onto some alternatives. Of course, we're not pretending that, like, you know, you have to play the decks this way. But <laughs> no, you probably you do. have <laughs> greater success if you do. But, um, yeah, I think this would uh, hopefully guide you through some excitement and wins in the Forgotten Age. Uh, keep the deck list coming. Uh, we'll be doing more of these in the future. Uh, have a good one. And as always, GG's.